Religion in the Enlightenment Thanks to the scientific efforts of men such as Copernicus, Galileo, and Newton, new ideas about the order and operation of the universe began to take root during the 17th century. These developments were deeply troubling to conservatives in the church, who had to confront uncomfortable questions about the role of God in this new universe. John Locke destabilized the role of religion still further when he postulated that moral behavior might be more firmly rooted in natural processes than instilled by the laws of God. New studies in biblical criticism, originating in the Germanic states, analyzed the Bible as a historical source, created by humans, and therefore subject to factual errors. Despite these challenges to the Church, the Enlightenment should not be characterized as an unrelenting assault upon it or, for that matter, as a continuous battle between reason and superstition. It is true that the French Enlightenment had a strong anti-clerical element. Enlightenment relationship with the Church Thanks to the significant strides that science had made in unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos, and providing a base for the explanation of celestial mechanics, the importance of God and religion in society began to be called into question. The same critical inquiry and recourse to reason was utilized in order to investigate religious doctrine and theological considerations. In addition to reason, the early proponents of biblical criticism employed comparative analysis and historical inquiry to access the veracity of the Bible and began to treat it as a historical source. Such ideas shook the churches to the core, for they questioned the religious claims for the foundation of morality and the very validity of the Bible as the revealed Word of God. The questions which the enlightened thinkers raised formed a central plank in Enlightenment discourse. In France, the Church was exposed to severe criticisms and subjected to strong anticlerical attacks. The philosophes, in particular, wished to secularize the Church but, although they were a vocal group, they were, nevertheless, only representative of a small section of society. It is important to remember that, despite the extensive criticism and investigation to which religion was subjected, an examination of the relations between the Church and the Enlightenment demonstrates that the period was not, in fact, dominated by atheism and skepticism.